morning, great one. Are you ready for our second math lesson for this week? I am. In our lesson, you will be able to tell time to the hour and half the hour using analog and digital clocks. Do you remember who they are? Yes, this tall lady over here is Mrs. Minutes and the short man is Mr. Hour. Who can tell me? Why do we need to tell the time? Exactly! Knowing what time it is can be very useful. For example, you need to know the time to go to an appointment or to watch a film at the cinema. Now grade 1, are you ready to help Max solve his problem? Hey kids, I have this problem today and I was hoping you could help me with it. Will you help me with my problem? Thank you so much. Okay, today I was asked to go to my basketball game at half past three o'clock. I am not sure what that means and that is why I need your help. Let's learn about telling time so I can make it to my basketball game. Here is an analog clock. This clock is a training clock and only has the hour hand on it. Whenever the hour hand points to one of the numbers, we can read the hour. Right now, the time is one o'clock. We say o'clock to represent the hour or the beginning of an hour. What time is it right now? It is four o'clock. Great job, guys. What hour is it right now? It is 10 o'clock. Great job. This clock is a great training clock, and we already learned about clocks with a minute hand, so let's take a look at the big clock. On this clock, we have both an hour hand and a minute hand. Right now, the time on the clock is 6 o'clock. We say o'clock when the minute hand points straight up because it is on the hour. What time is it right now? It is 7 o'clock. Great job again. On the right side I have a digital clock, which as we learned before shows time, but only using numbers. Both of these clocks show 7 o'clock. The digital clock shows 7 for the hour, and the two zeros show the minutes. Right now the hour is 7 and the minutes are 0, so we say 7 o'clock. This time stuff is really cool, guys. Now that we know what o'clock means, it is time to learn about half hours so I can know when to go to my basketball game. Right now the time is 7 o'clock, but watch this. The minute hand is moving around the clock, but you will also notice that the hour hand is moving as well. While the minute hand went all the way around the clock, the hour hand moved from the 7 to the 8. That means one hour went by. For the minute hand to go all the way around the clock, it has to go around 60 minutes. So 60 minutes is how long it takes for the minute hand to go around the clock once. I am going to take the minute hand halfway around the clock. Where would the minute hand point to if it just went halfway around the clock? Let's see. Mr. Clock, would you please move your minute hand halfway around the clock? Now we can see that the minute hand has gone halfway around the clock and has stopped at the 6. The small numbers on this clock are the minutes. The minute stopped at what number? The minute hand is pointing to the 30 minute mark. Halfway around the clock is 30 minutes. Great job, kids! The hour hand is in between the 8 and the 9. While the minute hand went halfway around the clock, the hour hand only moved halfway between the 8 and the 9. This is confusing because I do not know the hour. Do you think the hour is 8 or 9? The hour is still 8, even though it is past the 8. When the hour hand points right at a number, it starts the hour. It stays that hour until it reaches the next number. Right now the hour hand is past the 8 halfway, and we see that the minute hand is pointing to the 30. We can say that the time is half past 8 o'clock. This happens to be the time that my school starts in the morning. My parents said that school starts at half past 8, and now I know what that means. 8.30! Wow, this time stuff is awesome! 
We have two clocks here, the analog clock on the left and the digital clock on the right. The digital clock shows 8.30 and the analog clock shows 8.30 as well. The 8 shows the hour and the 30 shows the minutes that have passed. If we were to write the time, we would write it just like the digital clock shows. Can you tell me what time it is now? The time is 12.30, or we could say it is half past 12. Great job, kids. We can see that a half hour or 30 minutes have passed since 12 o'clock. If we wanted to write this time, what would it look like? You would write it like you see it on this digital clock. 12 is the hour on the left, and 30 minutes is on the right. The time is 12.30, or half past 12. Now that we have learned a lot, can you help me figure out when my basketball game starts? They told me it starts at half past three. Is this half past three? No, this is not half past three. This is half past two o'clock. How about now? Is this half past three? No, this is still not half past three. What time is this showing? It is showing 3 o'clock. How many more minutes do I have to move the minute hand to get to half past 3? We need to move the minute hand 30 minutes or halfway around the clock. Is the time in the clock half past 3? It is half past 3. Great job! Can you tell me now how to write this time? It would look like this. The time is 3.30. Wow, we have learned so much today and I am so glad you helped me. I better get to my basketball game so we will see you later. Take care and keep practicing. Goodbye. I hope you enjoyed the video, grade one. As we said earlier, grade one, when the minute hand is pointing to 12, it is showing a full hour. We call this time o'clock. On this clock, the hour hand is pointing at 8, and the minute hand is pointing to the 12. This clock is showing that the time is 8 o'clock. Who can tell me what time is it? Amazing! Yes, it's 7 o'clock. And what time is it here? Yes, it's 3 o'clock. Great job, grade 1. Which clock shows 2 o'clock? Which clock shows 4 o'clock? And which clock shows 10 o'clock? And who can remind me which clock shows 3 o'clock? You are super great, one. I'm so proud of you. And now, great one, it's your turn to tell the time. Always remember that the short hand is the hour hand. And the long hand is the minute hand. There are 60 minutes in one hour. And 30 minutes in a half hour. For more practice, find the Teach Time app on your iPad.
take a photo showing the following time and post it on CISO. Half past four and half past twelve. I hope you enjoyed the lesson grade 1. Now it's time to check our understanding by completing page 559 in our chapter 9 books. And you can also find the page on CISO. Always remember to submit your work before 8 p.m. so you can get the dojo points and your Thursday certificate.